You know that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you have no clarity on how the fuck you're gonna win today? Yeah. Same Z's. How to win, how to win, how to win. Google, G-O-O-L-G-L-E, that doesn't spell Google. How to win. Let's see what Google has to say. How to win everything, perfect, this is great. Okay, we gotta breathe. <sighs> Complete tennis, what? I don't have a racket. Read a book on chess, what the fuck? I don't know what to do, I'm watching Netflix. All right, biking, smoke weed, bird, bird box? Bird box challenge. All right, where's my computer? How to win. All right, what, what's it say? Who could I DM that knows how to win today? World record egg. Got him, he knows. Hey, how do I win? All right, now we wait. Hey, are you there? All right, Mr. Egg, clearly you have no time for me, so I'm sending you fuck off. Send, thank you very much. God damn it. If I could just figure out the path of least resistance for how to win today. All right, guys, so clearly we are here to learn how to win, and that's why we are at the trusty how to win board. There are three different ways. Obviously, we gotta fill in the blanks. Psst. Hey guys, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you want me to continue dropping more value like I am today, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. It's as simple as going like this. And of course, you know, this show is called How to Make Monday Great Again. And if you don't know how to win, Monday probably isn't that great. So this is definitely a very important lesson that you need to learn in life. And most importantly, what is the path of least resistance to learning how to win? And we are gonna figure out which one of the three is the best route and option to go. So I've been a day trader for 14 years. I've also built a million dollar brand around day trading. And now I have Iconic and other products coming out as well. So in today's analogy for how to win, we are gonna use the stock market because that's kind of what I know a lot about and what most people have known me for. Um, so we're gonna look at how the stock market works and why so many people fail in the stock market. But this can also apply to business and life in general. So here is our diagram of the stock market, okay? We have people on the sidelines. We also have 95% of people who actually lose money in the stock market. When I first started day trading, there was a statistic out there that said about 90% of people fail at trading. After doing this for 14 years, it's actually more about 90, 95% and only a little small chunk over here actually wins. So why does that happen and how does the stock market actually work? So we got the sidelines, 95% of people losing, 5% of people winning. We have the quitters who eventually lose all their money. But in the middle, this is what we call the money pool or the stock market. So basically how the stock market works is we have buyers and sellers, okay? This is basically just the system, money. People putting their money in. We have the 5% with their money in there. We have 95% and the money in there. Money never just disappears. All it is is an exchange of value from one person to another, from a buyer to a seller. The problem is most of these people have no idea what they're doing. They're just in the silence like, hey, I wanna learn how to trade stocks. There's no regulation that says they can't just go in today. So they just put their money into the system and see, see what happens because they're lazy. They don't wanna actually learn how to do things, okay? The idea is there, This the execution is poor. Same in business. Businesses don't fail because the idea sucks. The business fails because the execution sucks and they don't know what they're doing. So in the stock market, basically typically what happens is people from the 95% come in and they buy a stock. And they're like, ooh, this seems like a good idea. I'm gonna buy this stock at this price. That seems like a good idea. But typically what happens is they end up selling their stock to another loser who is also coming in from the sidelines and they're buying at a stock now uh, saying, hey, maybe this price is good, but they just keep buying and selling to each other at wrong prices and then they lose their money in the money pool and the 5% just continually take little chunks out of the money pool and they are the only ones that consistently know how to make money. So the big question is, is how do you go from the 95% over here to the 5% of people actually winning. These are the only people that actually know how to make money. So how do we do that? First and foremost, this is actually a very rare thing, especially in the stock market, is to find a friend or a network. Network. 
K, <laughs> trouble with Ks. Uh, but a friend or a network. Uh, the problem with this is, one, this takes a lot of your time. You have to put in a lot of effort to do this. I, you know, kind of suck at finding the people in the network to just all of a sudden get in there. And more importantly, these people don't have time to actually teach you everything they know. You ever try to DM somebody important on Instagram? Do they respond? No, they don't have time. Do you know how many people want to get to know them, want to be in their network? It's not something easy to do. So this is almost non-existent, especially in the stock market. It's a very independent game. You need to know how to do things yourself and you need to learn from someone that actually has the time to actually teach you. A business is a little different. You can learn a lot of different tidbits from people along the way um, by entering into you know, a network of people that are upper level than you. That is definitely a must just in life in general. You always wanna be working on your friends and network, but it's hard, it's not easy. Something that I personally also struggle with as well. Number two is winging it. All right, this is what I'm really good at, or you could say bad at. And this is what I did for three years. Three years in the stock market. Three years I hung out with the 95% of fucking losers in the stock market, stock market, winging it, trying to figure it out, okay? Going, reading books, getting free information, getting as much free information I, as I possibly could. The problem with that is, is how do you piece all that together and actually put it together in a systematic approach on how to win? You don't. You have a smorgasbord of crap and you're like, what do I do with all this? How do I execute this? How do I come up with a game plan with all these different resources that I just pulled together and now it's in my head, but it's kind of jargoned and just a big puzzle that I don't know how to actually put together. So this sucks. Winging it sucks, okay? And the biggest problem with winging it is you waste what? You waste your most valuable asset, time, okay? I wasted three years hanging out in the 95% before I ever made it into the 5%. What did I totally miss out on when I just did that, when I wasted all that time? and missed out on the opportunity cost of how much money could I have made in my trading account if I would have learned to get into the 5% in three months rather than three years that it took me trying to wing it. And that's what most people wanna to try to do. They wanna to try to wing it and just figure it out. They're like, I wanna learn a day trade. I wanna learn how to start a business and just go for it, okay? And it's not easy, okay? I just had, I just spent $25,000 on a clothing line just this last year for nothing, okay? I just hit this. I'm an idiot. I didn't go to somebody that uh, knew what they were doing and I wasted $25,000. A few years ago, I tried to do a software startup. I knew nothing about a software instead of, but I spent $150,000 on it, okay? I'm an idiot and didn't, you know, go look for a mentor that somebody that actually knew how to do it. So I'm not saying I'm smart. What I am saying is that I've fucked up a lot, but I do know the path of least resistance and how to actually do it and how you can actually win at life is you can buy your way in. And it's very simple. You buy your way into a mentor, okay? That's basically all we're talking about here is finding yourself a mentor. And this is the path of least resistance to winning at anything in your life. And the thing is, you can do this for just about any genre uh, these days. If you wanna learn an actual skill today, you can go Google, hey, I wanna learn how to be an expert in what? And there is gonna be somebody that's actually physically doing this and doing it very well that you can buy into their program today and learn exactly how they did it, as opposed to winging it for three years like I did, wasting three years of my life, hanging out with a bunch of losers, aka having a really poor network, as opposed to just finding someone that actually knew what they were doing, giving them a little, giving them a little cash, figuring out how they actually did that, get into the 5% on day one, all of a sudden I'm instantly into a friend and network of people that are in the 5% and that is the path of least resistance on how to win at life. Here's another funny analogy. You know what the money pool is? The buyers and sellers and the 95% of losers? This is the university college system. And now even you could say high school, there's more and more high school kids dropping out that are actually becoming successful. Why? Because they are finding mentors that have specialized skills that are teaching them how to win not spending hundreds of thousand dollars and the 95% of losers learning generic information on how to do what? Fucking nothing? Because I didn't learn anything in college. So that's just you know, a thing that you have to think about. And you know, if you wanna win, how do you do it? One, two, or three, 
this is the path of least resistance. Anyways, guys, this is just some life tips that I have learned about how to win over the last 14 years, mostly from all of my failures, okay? I've messed up a lot. I've wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to wing it on my own. And more importantly, I've wasted years of my life just trying to figure things out when literally the path of least resistance is finding someone that's good at something and learning exactly how they did that, whether or not that costs money or not, you know, there's the opportunity cost of how much time you're gonna waste. And the funny thing is, YOLO is fucking real, all right? We only live once, so you really have to think about how you spend your time, okay? We can never get time back, but we can always get money back. There's ROI for investing in yourself and investing in a mentor that can actually teach you these things. So with that said, we actually have a 90 day mentorship course on how to actually get into the 5% of the winning pool of the stock market. And we have a free masterclass that I would love for you to join just to get your feet wet if you wanna learn more about what we do as day traders. Uh, perfect example is Michael Spinoza, our top mentor now at Iconic Traders. He was in a nine to five as a financial advisor, found me on Instagram, went through my mentorship course, and now three years later, he's driving a Maserati, wears Rolexes, and is our top mentor in a chat room. That's three years into his career. I still haven't even made a cent in the stock market in my first three years. So that is the power of finding a mentor, okay? So hope you guys found some value in today, even though I just tried to sell you on my product, I run a business, but the overall message is there. Whatever you're looking to get into, find a mentor, figure out how they did it. Peace.